Coupling and you. What mermaids and mermen ought to know about mating. Written by Emerald Ever Klein. Copyright 2007 by Emerald Ever Klein. All rights reserved. Merbabies are the cutest creatures known to the underwater world. Their appeal is irresistible, and as much as we love to squeeze, pinch, and cuddle these adorable little ones, we must ask ourselves, how did they get here? Contrary to persistent rumors among school-age merchildren, merbabies do not appear after the onslaught of pelican water bombers. The journey of a merbaby is much more complicated and less violent, for the most part. It involves a little process known as marine biology. For you see, the arrival of a merbaby begins with two things. One, a unique sack of pearls which are tucked away inside each and every mermaid. And two, a long flexible tube found within mermen known as a spermasiphon. The magic occurs when pearl sack meets spermasiphon during the act of coupling. But what is coupling? Coupling is a special, usually private moment shared between two merpeople resulting from a deeper than the sea desire for one another. In coupling, tails intertwine as each partner tries to locate and stimulate the pleasure zones of the other. In fact, the number of pleasure zone locations, as well as the methods used, vary from merperson to merperson. One mermaid may be particularly fond of having her fins rubbed in clockwise circles, while another prefers to have them rhythmically pulled. Interspecies coupling has also been known to occur, but often with the use of assistive devices, creative techniques, a wee bit of soreness for the following morning, and sometimes death. Case studies have shown that frustrated mermaids have a tendency to kill their partners. It is advisable that the less skillful in the art of pleasing others be aware of the possible dangers involved with coupling. Whereas coupling can occur regardless of gender, the methods of producing a merbaby require one mermaid and one merman, not unlike many creatures found in nature. But as you will soon discover, the actual gestation process is quite different from most. In the beginning stages of coupling, the spermasiphon remains coiled in its secret chamber until the moment of opportunity. Meanwhile, in the mermaid's body, the pearl sac remains well protected. The scale which guards the entrance stays clamped, and rows of extended daggers, similar to shark teeth, line the inside. Woe to those who dare intrude, for the angles in which the daggers are formed ensure maximum damage to the flesh of violators. However, if coupling is performed correctly, the mermaid should go into a state of relaxed euphoria, and her usual defenses will retire briefly. The merman is then permitted full access, and his spermasiphon can enter the vulnerable orifice. The entrance scale flips up, and the daggers are retracted. The merman's spermasiphon must act quickly before the mermaid regains her self-composure. The spermasiphon uncoils from its chamber and wriggles its way out of the merman's body via the exit scale. Then, once finding its way to the entrance of the mermaid's pearl sac, it begins its difficult task. The spermasiphon will try to retrieve as many pearls as possible by sucking the cavity. As the pearls travel through the spermasiphon, they are fertilized by the lining of the walls. A lucky merman can carry dozens of merbabies. After 12 uncomfortable weeks, the merman is ready to spawn the merbaby-filled pearls. He will choose a quiet cave while several mer people from the community keep guard over the entrance. The pearls will be tucked into a nest pool for another 15 weeks. By the time the merman and mermaid, along with various mer people from the community, will assist the school of merbabies as they enter the underwater world. Each surviving infant is named accordingly by the parents and then celebrated by the guests and gatherers. Approximately one-fourth of merbabies are male, while the rest are female. Despite this disparity, every merchild is treasured and raised by their parents with the aid of the mer community. <laughs>